All right, welcome back to an unintentional second part of the uh, Swindle and Brawl review. Yeah, it turns out I was having some battery problems. Anyway, so, as so you can see, new forearms with uh, nicer, bigger hands, which can still hold weapons. And uh, that huge uh, weapons emplacement that you see here, what you want to do now is, like, take this part here, twist it around, and lift this one back. And the peg will allow it to, once again, peg in the back here. So, in robot mode, he also has all the insane armaments as well. And uh, these two guns from before, and they sort of snap right out. Oh, okay, so I usually probably just hold it this way. Oh yeah, they snap right out. Just plug that back in. And uh, you can hold them in his new giant hands, and you know, or just trade these off to his buddies. So there you go. There's Brawl. With new, new awesome weapons, new feet, new arms. I mean, this set, as much as it's a Bruticus upgrade, it's clearly also a Brawl upgrade. I mean, really turns this figure around. You got the bigger feet, the hands, and these new guns, uh, which are, you know, they also have some purple on them, way more menacing than this thing. And again, uh, you could have put this one in the... Uh, Make it hang out back there, but it just doesn't really work out too many in most modes, so might as well chuck that piece out. But yeah, definitely, uh, you know, these guys definitely like fixes a lot of their issues. He's got a new back, and he's got new feet, new weapons, so definitely, you know, nice improve on these guys. Yeah, I don't know what the Decepticons have for NRA, but. Uh, Brawl's definitely, it's like a contender there, <laughs> with all his firepower. It's like he's trying to be Diesel or something. Or, you know, what's that other one? Metal Storm. Just rig on guns and big guns. Yeah, but, uh, let's, uh, turn these guys down to limb mode. So, we'll start with the Swindle for the moment. It's essentially very similar to before. So you just come here and you... Slowly pull that out. Out you go, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pull a little too hard there, but yeah. Alright. Make sure you rotate the head. So there's like a groove in it that will peg it right here. And you do this. Okay, let's get these to the side. And again, again, you need to take this gun off. Don't really need that anymore. Now it's up to you if you want to keep it. Let's start changing him back for the most part. We'll take those around. Alright. Now. Come here, bring up out this port like before. And once again, snap, peg the arms into his legs part. There we go. Yeah, there you go. They want to bring his feet slightly out, split these apart. And this uh, one peg, where you was well, before it was like this, now rotate it around, like so. Now, once again, same thing, just plug it right there in between the limb. Snap it all nice in place. Then you want to make sure you put this one on the second set of things. Yeah. There. Now, they tell you to take this ha the hands out here and just bring these out. Oh, dear. There you go. And take those out ever so slightly. Take these other pieces here, bring these all the way up, bring this part back. And you'll notice there's a connector here which connects to the one port from before. Which hopefully won't give us as much trouble as the other one did. 
So far, so good. Go here and flush the feet out more. And there's Swindle's new leg mode, and again, more reminiscent, nice and sturdy. It's got a little bit of a tilt, ever so slightly, just because of the other stuff. You can just adjust some of the stuff back here and on the bottom. And there you go, that's your new leg mode for a swindle. Now for Brawl here, he gets a little more complicated. But, you know, it's part of the course for now. Oh, there goes that backpack off again. Let's start with this. Plug the guns back in and fold them. Well, plug that in here and just rotate this piece around. Or, yeah. Then just come around and fold these. And these parts here will snap together. Yeah. And there you go. And there's your basic foot mode. Now you'll notice here there's these um, panels, which again, designed for the retail version, but in the pouch... So you get these darker greens for the uh, Comic-Con Platinum version, so, you know, they come right off, so you can just replace them and, you know, no big deal there. Alright, so let's uh, finish transforming him. Essentially get him back into tank mode. Let's move these feet up now. Okay, like these parts, especially like these feet, can be a little bit of a, of a pain, so a little bit easier to transform if you just take them off. At least in my case, anyway. I don't know. You may have different results. I usually just take them off. Come on, off you go. There's that hand. There. There's tank mode there. Now, since these are off, you have to take the foot and rotate it like so. And plug it back in and just let the, uh... Let the pieces stay flush on the side. There you go. Rotate down again. Let them stay flush on the side. Come up here and just take this a slight, push this down ever so slightly. Then you want to fold these sections back. You'll notice in this black uh, port here where the arms are, this new piece here will peg in. Just come here and, and this can be a little tricky, but doable. Yeah, come on. There's one and two. And there's your new leg boat for brawl. Again, there they are, quite nicely. You just angle this one up as as you go along. And as you can see, the feet, there you go. I mean, they're, they're very nice. And, you know, should you have the other version, you can just replace it. 
the only way you're vaguely screwed with this set is, uh, as of so far, is if you happen to have, like, the G2 version. Because that one is the one that looks most obviously out of place. Well, with him being all red, so it's not, like, red and yellow, and I think he's still green, I don't remember. But the G2 colors are hard for brawl. I think he's still some shade of green, but, yeah. So, there's that. That was um, part two of the um, Microblaze Creations uh, Military uh, Titans. And, uh, you know, tune in next time. We'll be looking at uh, the new Onslaught, which is Warriors of Ninja Size and Giants. We'll see uh, the differences with that and, you know, if that core figure, with you know, of this new set is, uh, you know, how that stacks up with everything else. So, you know, thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, check out some of my other videos. Enjoy. Later.